हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन और टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अबाउट द पॉजिटिव रेगुलेटर्स मींस पॉजिटिव सिग्नल फॉर सेल टू एंटर इनसाइड अ सेल साइकिल सो व्हिच आर दिस पॉजिटिव सिग्नल्स और रेगुलेटर्स वी विल सी डिटेल्स इन दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इफ यू आर रियली गेट बेनिफिटेड थैंक यू so first start with the positive regulators of a cell cycle the first one of the positive regulator of cell cycle is cyclins there are various kinds of cyclins which participate for the cell cycle at various phases level of these cyclins fluctuate uh, during the cell cycle uh, as per their need uh, the second uh, component which acts as a positive regulator and works in coordination with cyclins are cyclin dependent kinases they are also known as cdks we will see all details of this positive regulator first uh, positive regulator is cyclin there are four kinds of cyclins which participate for cell cycle the first one is cell cyclin d the second one is cell cyclin e next one is cell cyclin e also and a also and the last one is cyclin b they participate for various phases is during the cell cycle so this uh, cyclin d particularly participate during the g1 cyclin um, uh, uh, so it is a cycling stage so it is called as a g1 cyclin and this g1 cyclin d combines with cy uh, cyclin dependent kinases 4 and cyclin dependent kinases 6 and there is formation of a complex and when this complex get form Uh, there is a signal that uh, the cell has to go to uh, 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 or enter uh, in a cell cycle it is a promoter signal for entry of a cell in a cell cycle this one is about the cyclin d participation so there is positive signal for the cell now to enter in a cell cycle the second set of event occur due to presence of this cyclin e and uh, it participate in a transition phase between the g1 phase and s phase so this cyclin e binds with cdk2 and this cdk2 e binding complex now form a complex with this cyto uh, cyclin dependent kinases 4 and cyclin dependent kinases 6 along with cyclin d and this more uh, complex nature of this uh, com uh, nature of these cdks and cyclin dependent kinases now trigger for uh, the transition phase between the g1 to s and the process now starts definitely it go forward but it do not return to g1 phase back but it goes forward only the third cyclin is the here uh, during the s phase there is participation of two cyclin cyclin e and cyclin a this cyclin e uh, when participate inside a cascade uh, no doubt there is entry of a cell in a cell cycle and there is formation of a complex of cyclin a cyclin e and cdk2 and this one is a signal that the cell has to replicate its dna so dna synthesis occurs due to formation of this complex the last one is cyclin b and this cyclin b is called as a mitotic cyclin because it triggers synthesis of uh, uh, it triggers uh, formation of mitotic phases and uh, for this purpose cdk1 um, um, is uh, complex is uh, uh, responsible for promotion of uh, that particular cell to mitosis and this mitotic cyclins um, are um, cyclin a and cyclin b so these are produced during s and g2 phase and by that means the cell enters inside a mitotic mitotic phases various mitotic phases are followed due to trigger of this cyclin a and cyclin b along with cdk1 so all these are the cyclins uh, and this one is a graph of x cyclin expression cycle here during the Uh, from starting from the g1 phase up to the mitosis phase uh, cyclin d which is uh, designated as a red color uh, which is present uh, from g1 phase to up to the end of the mitosis cyclin e is present only during g1 phase uh, intermediate to uh, up to the s phase intermediate 
while as cyclin A uh, which is present uh, from late phase of G1 uh, up to uh, the starting of mitotic phases and the cyclin B which is orange in color starts from S phase up to the end of mitotic phases. So this is all about the cyclin expression cycle and the positive regulators which participate for cell cycle. Thank you.